I have this football wreath form that I found from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the tag. And I also grabbed this material from the Dollar Tree. They have a ton of different colors and patterns. I'm basically going to wrap the material around the football wreath form. So how I did it is I started on one side, I added hot glue and folded the edge of the material onto the hot glue. Then I moved it to the other side and added hot glue and I pulled it nice and tight before I made contact with the material and the glue. So now both the left and right side of the football wreath form has the ends of the material glued down and we made it nice and tight. Now I'm gonna to go to one end of the football wreath form and add the glue and fold the material in. Now at any point where you need to cut any excess material along the way, you can certainly do that to make this easier. And then I covered the other end with the material. And I just went around at this point and I got rid of any extra material and you can fold in those ends and glue where needed. And you just wanna make sure that material covers around the wreath form nice and tightly. Next, I'm gonna take some jute. You can find jute at the Dollar Tree. If it's not thick enough, you can always find it at Hobby Lobby. I started the jute about four inches down from the top of the wreath form, and I'm adhering it in place with some hot glue. I started by just wrapping it around the wreath form, but then I did change this method to just cutting the strips of jute and placing it across the wreath form. I did find it was easier to adhere in place and it held better. And then I just cut the ends of the jute off on both the left and right side. And I pretty much went up till I hit the top. I left about a half an inch uncovered. You can certainly cover the entire top if you would like, but that's going to be covered anyways. To finish the jute part off, I added one thicker strip of jute at the bottom. And I flipped it over and I didn't cut this right at the ends. I cut it so that I can adhere both ends of the thicker jute together to make the hanger of the wreath. So I just cut it on both the left and right sides, leaving a little extra. And then I glued both of those ends together with some hot glue. And this just fell in the perfect area where now we have easily created the hanger so we don't have to worry about that when we get toward the end. So this is what we have so far. I have this wooden popsicle stick. It was already stained in brown and I'm gonna glue it at the top here. So here's the stem. And if you're still trying to figure out what I'm creating, it's going to be an acorn. And to decorate this, I have some artificial berries, fall berries and leaves that I'm going to attach to the top here. And you can really decorate this however you'd like. I'm gluing these embellishments on the area where we did not have the jute. Then I'm going to finish it off with this Dollar Tree bow and I'm just going to glue it at the top here. I like to glue down my tail so they're not flopping and so that way they're kind of laying nicer. And there we go, now we have this very easy Dollar Tree acorn wreath. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.